Alrighty, so we've managed to finish the turn for the allies and I'm re-recording this because I was talking on top of the camera last time and it was all rather throaty and unintelligible, more so than usual. I, I need to make one quick morale check or recovery item here because some cavalry units were shaken uh, in their formation due to uh, <coughs> excuse me uh, due to them crossing the stream I'll have to work out how to do that I, mean, I think I need to roll a d6 and they are going to be Kinemaya's group over here let's see if we can these guys here on the shaking counter they, they swept around this way to try and uh, capture any retreats or, or, or uh, interfere with retreats and derive drive the direction of retreats and we set up the, the artillery um, in firing formation to try and pound the corner of Telnitz where uh, Lagrand is uh, set up here and they've got some cavalry support in case anyone tries to sneak out and do something clever we're moving the scout down here to uh, intercept the units that are going to come on down here and get uh, full confirmation that indeed that is who we think it is. In the meantime, over on this side of the board, we've had uh, Langeron and his forces move towards uh, Sokolnitz, and we had uh, Sachin uh, over to the left here continue his advance, and uh, he's going to prance on across to the pheasant garden. Uh, all the voting uh, that took place uh, uh, told us to continue on with his current plan. That's the full extent of the movement on that wing and I, I need to ro I roll the two for this guy. I've just got to check what, um, I'll have to roll for the two stacks, but we'll do that in a second. And over here, which is a little difficult to see because of the glare, Uh, these are dummy units if you have been following along on the videos and the, the posts on the blog. So uh, I'm trying to bring these in here thinking this would help uh, dissuade me from moving my attack forward. And what I'll end up doing is I'll roll a die. My cat is trying to attack the camera. so. Pardon my distracted voice. I'm trying to keep a foot in front of her or him or it, whatever it is. Um, I will roll a die for each of these groups of units. And if I roll a one, two, or three, they will uh, attempt to change their orders. If I roll a four, five, or a six, they will continue on their path, as will these other units over here. Uh, once formations are given orders it's it's typically you don't change them unless it's something drastic and often once you get into a change cycle like that it can be a self-perpetuating loop of disastrous decisions one after the other so i'm more inclined as the french play to stick to my plan because i don't know what you've got here but i sure intend to find out the hard way and and crack on it i did uh, on behalf of the uh, allied player, the Austro-Russian player, uh, move these in a go-slow mode. There is no time element attached to when they need to be in Kobolnitz, but uh, I did want to make sure that uh, they were still in town uh, when whatever these units that you think are here, uh, if they approach and close and you can see that they're actually enemy units, that perhaps you're, you know, a, a, a more uh, defensible position than being strung out along the road here. All right, uh, that's the full turn for them. Uh, we've, we'll, we'll, we'll do these recoveries down here on the other side of the map. And, and it's on to the evil French. <laughs> 